now that we are on our road continuing down to fluency city not worrying about the small details we could talk about japanese from zero course three lesson four Hello and welcome to Japanese from Zero. I'm George Trombley and we are working through Japanese from Zero course three. This is still lesson four. We're going to do a little bit talking about do, which by the way, all by itself is a phrase. Do, okay. It means, hey, how is it? How is it? How's it? Like maybe uh, you recommended a coffee and then I go, mm, let me try it. Then you can ask that guy, me, do, how is it? Do, and I go, hmm, oishi, oishi, it's good, it's good, it's delicious, right? Mazui, <sighs> mazui, not good, right? Or, chotto nigai, chotto nigai desu ne, it's a little bit bitter, okay? All right, that's what do does. So let's look at it. And by the way, you do need to know at this point, I keep saying this. Hopefully you've been through the book and you've gone through and at least learned these kanjis, right? These kanjis, these kanji. Uh, yasumu, to rest, ue, up, sta, down, uh, hidari, left, and migi, right. They're very easy kanji to learn. All right, some new words. Uh, in the book, we really only teach do, how. It also means what, do. Uh, but this is part of a ko, so, a, uh, do pattern uh, in its most basic form, pretty much. Ko, this way, so, this way, or that way, depending on uh, the context, and ah, that way, in a much more distant way of thinking, right? Uh, and we will revisit these later on in higher levels, in, in probably book four. I'm not sure if it comes up in book three. So let's look at some examples of how to use do. So it is used with do plus positive verb. Okay, in our examples, that's all we're going to be doing is do plus positive verb. So here's a really good one that my wife uses a lot, and the habit is uh, now uh, transferred to me. I say this a lot. Do moimasu ka? It's a great question. Like, what do you think? It's how do you think, but it really means what do you think. Instead, you wouldn't say nani o omoimasu ka, which sounds grammatically correct, and it is grammatically correct. It's not how Japanese would say it. They would say, Do moimasu ka? Or uh, informal, they might say, Do mou? What do you think? Do mou? Maybe I got this new shirt, right? This snowflake looking pattern shirt. And I say, Do, how is it? Or, Do mou? Right? How do you, what do you think? What do you think? Kono shatsu do mou? Kono shatsu do mou? Right? So if someone thinks it's good, we learned this a few lessons. Actually, the. Actually, this lesson, I think we learned it, right? We learned how to say this. I think it's good. I think it's good. Do moimasu ka? Ii to omoimasu. Ii to omoimasu. Remember, you cannot say ii da to omoimasu. You cannot do that. You cannot say ii des to omoimasu either. It's ii to omoimasu. Adjectives never use the des when they're packaged inside of an expression of a thought or opinion. Remember that. Alright. How would you ask somebody, uh, hey man, uh, what are you gonna do tomorrow? What are you gonna do about tomorrow? Now, in the Japanese that we already know, we we could say ashita nani o shimasu ka? That's also good. But in the context here that we're talking about, there was a choice. There was some sort of problem or some sort of issue that we were working through. I'm not just asking random, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm asking him, hey man. Remember that thing we were talking about? There was something happening. Uh, we were trying to make plans and we hadn't decided. How are we going to do tomorrow? Is really what we're saying. So it is, ashita, dou shimasu ka? Dou shimasu ka? Are you going to go this way or that way? Right? Because do would like to have an answer that says this way or that way or there's multiple ways and which way did we choose? Right? Dou moimasu ka? Dou shimasu ka? Uh, I think I'm going to work. Not going as in to go, but I think I'm gonna work. I think I'm gonna work. I said, I think I'm gonna work. Another nice review 
Another nice review. I'll give you a hint. It starts with shigoto. But the word iku is not in there. Let's see. Anyone who is on the live chat right now, tell me, how would you say, uh, I think I'm going to work. I think I'm gonna work. I think I will work. Okay, we don't know hataraku yet. And I just said the hint was shigoto. Uh, so, XO, you fail. You fail miserably, unfortunately. But yeah, that actually works. Hataraku to omoimasu would work. But we didn't use that version of to work. Nobody has it. I also, Roberto, I also said no iku. You guys are bad students. Uh, okay, super gaijin. Shigoto o suru to omoimasu is correct. You guys need to listen to what I'm saying. Like, I said there's no Iku, then you're giving me Iku. I said it starts with Shigoto, you're giving me Hataraku. Come on. Come on. Shigoto o suru to omoimasu. You guys, you guys are embarrassing, man. Come on. Seriously. I know there's a delay in the live stream, but it's not that bad. You guys were answering the question. All right. All right. So, Shigoto o suru to omoimasu. All right. So, uh, let's say I'm asking you... Uh, we're trying to plan a time to have a party. And I say, well, what about Friday? And you're like, no, nah, Friday's not good. No, what about Thursday? Nah, Thursday's not good. And then I'm going to say, well, how about how about tomorrow? Very informally, how, how do we say that? How about tomorrow? Ashita wa dou. And by the way, I want to point out something. Uh... Nordine El Barcoe, however you pronounce that. Guys, what suru to mean? Um, suru covered in course two. I realize this is a live stream and anyone can jump in, but if you're asking that question, you really need to go back. We extensively cover all of the things. Everyone in the live stream now that has watched the videos up until now will know what we're doing. If you're asking about a key component word like suru, which means to do, you've made a mistake. You're here at the wrong time. You you tried to get ahead when you really needed it. They have a saying in Japanese. They have a saying in Japanese. Uh, isogaba maware. Isogaba maware. It's one of those idiom things, okay? And it means when you're in a hurry, take the long way around. If you're in a hurry to learn Japanese, actually go through the videos that I've made because I teach a lot of these concepts. All, I teach all of these concepts up to this point. A way that I teach is I never teach, I never try to use anything that we haven't learned in any of my examples. So we all should be able to get, Asta wa do, hey, how about tomorrow? How is tomorrow? Would tomorrow work? How's tomorrow? Now, informally, I could say, yeah, that's good. I just said, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Mm, io. Mm, mm. This un is very popular. Un. And I realized uh, they actually have it in Chinese too. They go en. They type it with like an en. It's un. They do the same thing in Chinese. Uh, so it's nice. A Korean does it too, but it's like un. It ends in a. Like all the languages have it. It's kind of nice. But un in Japanese, un. Very positive. Like yes, un. Yep. It's like saying yep. Un, io. All right. Uh, let's say uh, you went to school. How was school? I would say, how was school? How was school? I'm sorry, Super Gaijin. You cannot say Ida. You cannot do that. You can say Ides, but in formal Da, you cannot say Ida ever. Sorry. All right, good. Uh, Snorlax, you got it right. I like your name, Snorlax, because obviously I'm a Pokemon guy. Uh, so, gakkou wa dou deshita ka? Gakkou wa dou deshita ka? Gakkou wa dou deshita ka? How was school? Now, as you can see, we've made deshita into past tense. Okay, so dou can be used all by itself. It doesn't have to be used with uh, omoimasu or shimasu. It can be used with just des, right? All right, uh, so... How would we say, this is a bit of a review, it was good, but uh, I don't want to go anymore. 
It was good, but oh, we can't do that. We have not learned this yet. I'm sorry. Uh, this is something that isn't taught until, uh, I believe, lesson nine of course three for some reason. It's too far ahead. I really wish it was taught earlier in the book, but here, we'll just give it to you. Uh, we don't know how to say ikitaku nai desu. Sorry. Uh, yokatta kedo. It was good, but mo ikitaku nai desu. I don't want to go anymore. That really should be taught in like lesson one of course three. Uh, maybe when I do an update of the book, I'll go ahead and move it. Maybe some of you who are watching this video have the newer version of book three where we've moved it down. It really should be there further. I mean, come on. How do you learn a language and not learn how to say I want to and I don't want to? My bad. My bad. All right, so how would you say to somebody, maybe you're trying to set someone up on a date. This is a little bit of a hard sentence because there's a concept that I taught only in the video series. We haven't exactly taught um, directly uh, in the book. But how would you say, uh, we're talking about mami chang a girl named Mami. What do you think about Mami-chan? About is a keyword. We need to have the word about. What do you think about Mami-chan? I'm sorry, uh, Michael. Yeah, e demo also doesn't work. You say e kedo. E kedo works, but e demo doesn't work. Sorry, sorry. Sorry to bust your bubble. You guys should just stop typing, maybe. All right, so how would you say, uh, again, what do you think about Mami-chan? Ah, uh, perfect. Richard Tomic, you got it. Wow, I'm really addressing the stream today. I don't normally like to address you guys that much. You got it exactly correct. Mami-chan no koto. And we should have, we could have a wa there. Mami-chan no koto wa doumou. Mami-chan no koto wa doumoimasu ka would also work. So... How do you feel about her? Like, what do you think about her? What do you think of Mami-chan? Uh, I think she's cute. I like her. I think she's cute. We don't have to say she, remember? We just say, think is cute, right? Think cute, all right? How would you say that? Now remember, remember when we're packaging the word kawaii, right? We're saying is cute, right? Kawaii des. Remember that when you're saying I think kawaii des, the des is dropped. The des does not stay there because it's an adjective. It's gone. So, unless it's a na adjective, but this is an e adjective. So, kawaii to. Oh, and I have a typo. Let me go ahead and fix it. I'm missing a mo. It says oimas. Okay. All right. Now we can, now we can actually, oops, oops, went too far. All right. So, kawaii to omoimasu. Suki desu. Kawaii to omoimasu. Think she is cute. I think she is cute. Suki desu. I like her. Right? Now, we're at the end of this lesson, but I just want to point out, there are no pronouns to be found anywhere in there. In English, remember, we always have to say, I think she is cute. I and she must be there. But Japanese, you're the one talking, so we know that you think it. And we've already established that we're talking about Mami-chan, so I don't have to bring up her name, or I don't have to bring up a pronoun to say, you know, her, so, or she. So, kawaii to omaimasu, automatically in English becomes, I think she's cute. Think is cute, right? And suki desu, like it, right? But there, we know that des, remember, Japanese verbs and des being one of those verbs are pronoun neutral. They cover all of the pronouns depending on the context. That's why if you came in the middle of a conversation and you just heard kawaii to omaimasu, suki desu, you don't know what they're talking about. In English, at least, you know, I think, I think she is cute. We know you think it and you're talking about a girl. But if you heard kawaii to omaimasu, that could be, you think the dog is cute and suki desu. I like the dog. We don't know because we're coming in the middle of a conversation. All right, that is it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Japanese from Zero where we do the final video, finally the final video for lesson four of course three and we can then move on to the bigger, better, more awesome, fun lesson. I'm not sure if it's really fun, but it's lesson five. All right, we're gonna do lesson four just right now.